Mike, there are hundreds of vertical machining centers available for sale in, in the UK and the global market. What sort of customer do you like to go into and, and what do they need to say for you to get excited about the fact that you could win an order with one of these Hartford machines? The majority of these machines go into um, subcontractors. Uh, we do have machines in um, nuclear and aerospace companies. In fact, our biggest customer is an aerospace company in the northwest and they have um, 12 of this size machine on their shop floor for doing titanium parts. So is that what kind of makes you lick your lips then if you go in somewhere and there's some really, really difficult parts to yeah. be made? I think the thing with Hartford, it's a strong, robust machine and um, some of the benefits of the Hartford are that you know it, the table's fully supported which gives you that extra rigidity um, and also um, the spindle has only got a short nose so you've got strength in the spindle as well. Let's talk about that table because I, I was looking at this I mean this is this is a big big capacity machine isn't it what is the X and Y? Just the X is 1600 and the Y is 820 right. uh, which there's not many machines with that capacity which, uh, which is a small footprint for the size of the machine. And how do you achieve that? You probably saw me looking up there because I saw HCMC1682, so that means it's 1600 by 820. That's correct. Yeah. So how do you achieve the big working envelope in the small area? Mainly with the guarding. You know, you've got a compact guarding system which has been designed specifically to interlock into the machine casting to prevent leakage, which uh, is very useful in today's climate because nobody wants a dirty shop floor. Yeah, although a lot of them do have dirty shop floors, but nobody wants one, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. This table itself, fully supported, tell me about that. The machine has four shears, so it's, and they're quite wide apart, so you've got support all along those four shears. So that means that when, when you put a part on the table or when the machine's moving it, like you say, it's supported from almost all angles, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's correct. Now, is this a box guideway machine? A lot of discussions about linear roller guides, box guideways. On this Hartford machine, which of those is it and, and what's the benefit to that? The Hartford, this range of Hartford from the um, small one metre machine up to the three metre machine are all box guideways machine, which gives you the stability uh, to do heavy cutting which this machine is capable of with the 26 kilowatt motor that we put on as standard. So even the Z-axis on this machine is a box? Yes. Now what about that spindle? Just tell me again the power there, the speed, the spindle nose type. The power is 26 kilowatt. You've got a, um, a gearbox which gives you, and you can have 6,000 RPM through that, but you can have direct drives which gives you 10,000 RPM if it's required. So you've got the be almost like the best of both worlds when it comes to options. We've got the speed and the power if you need yeah. it. Yes, you have. Yeah. Now, what about this control here, Mike? I see we've got a heart heart troll phallic system, but we've got some kind of uh, graphical simulation at the bottom as well. What is that? Basically, what you've got here is a heart troll. You've got the phallic, which is for the programming side, mm. and the heart troll is for the uh, machine side, like machine options like coolant on, light, it also, you can have a camera fitted if you wanted to fit a camera inside the machine, it would record on there. You've also got the instruction manuals. Well, when you're selling this machine, do you talk about that a lot? Because it's quite novel, you don't see that very often. Yeah. We do, Richard, our applications man, he does go through that with potential customers and people do find it useful. I can imagine it is. I looked at it already and saw some of the features and thought, actually, this, this, this means if I operate the machine, it's kind of telling me, like you say, where, where the manuals are, maintenance issues, and, and the simulation of seeing what's going on inside the machine is, is uh, very valuable as well. Now, the layout of this machine, we said that the table's fully supported. That also means that you've got the four swarf screws underneath it, so you're getting your swarf out of the machine at the same time. I suppose the expectation is that you're going to be making a lot of that, is it? Yes, it is. You're making a lot of swarf, you need evacuation, the coolant bed wash also, also helps that, so it's a complete system. And again, I go back to this leakage problem. Even with the four screws, you don't have any leaks. And on the spindle, 
talking about coolant, do you have through spindle coolant on these machines? And if you do, is it standard or is it an option? And also when you mention about machining accuracy, heavier parts, do you use scales to maintain that, that level of precision? Scales is an option, but the TWR standard specification is with through spindle coolant, uh, chip conveyor, rear tool loading, because machines of this calibre you have to load through the spindle. Where on the Hartford range you can have a rear tool loading option, which we bring in as standard, and you can load from the rear of the machine. So the machine can be in action or in operation while you're at the back putting tools in? Yes. And what are these tools? I, I think I don't know whether you answer. Is it BT40 or BT50? Or? The BT50, you can have DIN50 or BBT50, and our standard now is BBT50. When I mentioned earlier as well about there being hundreds of machines in the market, I know, I'm not going to say you're going to have a biased opinion, but I know that you do have, well, you've already emphasised already the quality that we've got here with this machine, uh, quite glowingly, to be honest with me, earlier as well. Where does it sit in the league? Is it right at the top? Is it in the middle? Is it Where, where is it? I would consider this to be the best value for money vertical machining centre on the market. Strong statement. Available in stock as well? Available from stock, yeah. Great. And... We mentioned the control, do they come with options on the control too? Yeah, you can have Hyde and Hyde, or Hartford are bringing their own control out, which is called Hartroll Plus, and we'll be having one of those machines, a small 40 taper machine, coming in the middle of January, uh, which we're going to rig up for demonstration and possibly have a few open, open days. And you mentioned it being about there, possibly the best value for money. You're obviously shifting a few then, are you? Yeah, we, we're doing quite well with them, yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks.